What? Was it you that would be England's king? Was it you that reveled in our parliament and made a preachment of your high descent? Where is your mess of sons to back you now? The wanton Edward and the lusty George. And where is that valiant broke-back prodigy? Dicky, your boy, who with his grumbling voice was wont to cheer his dad in mutinies. Or, with the rest, where is your darling Rutland? Look, York, I stain this napkin with the blood from the bosom of the boy. And if thine eyes can water for Rutland's death, I give thee this to dry thy cheeks withal. Alas, poor York. But that I hate thee deadly, I should lament thy miserable state. Prithee, grieve to make me merry, York. What? Hath thine fiery heart so parched on entrails that not a tear can fall for Rutland's death? Why art thou patient, man? Thou should be mad. And I, to make thee mad, do mock thee thus. Stamp, rave, and fret that I may sing and dance. Thou wouldst be feed, I see to make me sport. York cannot speak unless he wear a crown, and Lord shall bow low to him. I marry, sir. Now looks he like a king. Aye. This was he that took King Henry's chair, and this was he was his adopted heir. But, but how is it that the great Plantagenet was crowned so soon and broke his solemn oath? As I bethink me, thou shouldst not be king until King Henry has shook hands with death. Up with the crown, and with the crown his head. And whilst we breathe, take time to do him dead. <laughs>